Hi, aloha. Uh, my name is Dennis Bumpy Pu'uhunua Kanahele, Head of State of the Nation of Hawaii. And um, uh, I want to uh, welcome you to, to uh, our, uh, our team, our, our foreign relations delegation uh, that's going to speak to you tonight. Uh, more so, um, they'll be talking about the Nation of Hawaii, the creation of the Nation of Hawaii. Uh, how that all started uh, uh, back in 1993. Um, that particular year was very important for Native Hawaiians uh, because there was a commemoration of the 100 year uh, of the overthrow, since the overthrow of the Hawaiian Kingdom. And um, later on that year in, in, in November of, of 1993, uh, United States apologized for for the illegal overthrow and that pretty much kicked off a bunch of different things in Hawaii that started uh, to started the rise of the Hawaiian movement uh, for independence uh, with that said uh, during that year earlier part of that year uh, we were trying to acquire some land uh, with the government uh, for homeless and houseless uh, people uh, in Waimanalo. And, uh, and so we almost had a place, uh, a first location, but it was too close to uh, a, a bigger community in Waimanalo and they didn't want to happen. I did it, didn't want that to happen. So uh, it ended up uh, that the state government told me to go look for land in our community in Waimanalo. Uh, that land ended up being where we are today. Um, in 1993, we signed an agreement in principle uh, as well for 55 acres of land, 55 year lease. And, um, and we started to work our way to come into this property that we're on now, known as Pu'ohonua O Waimanalo. Um, and at that time, back in 1993, uh, this whole place was a bunch of forest and, and very, very dense uh, forest areas because it's the watershed. Um, when we started to clear our way up, up into the property, in this property, the neighbors complained. State came after us, said, you can't do that. And it didn't make sense because we had an agreement in principle to come up here to begin with. And, and it, it was basically to set up um, uh, uh, affordable homes, you know, something that we could take people off the streets and get them in these, you know, basic, simple home, housing structures that would help them. Um, anyway, uh, after, the, after coming up here and cutting into the forest land and trying to get, you know, get a... a, a guesstimate of, of what the land looked like, you know, the, the ravines, the water uh, sources and all that. Uh, the state came up with the Attorney General's office and told us to stop. And told us that, you know, uh, we had too much complaints and all that. And then I told them, so what is the agreement in principle with you guys for then? And I said, in that case, I'll take the land. Now, taking the land at that time was like, you know, you just go, don't go out and put up housing structures, well, tents and housing structures on beach lot properties, especially well-known beach lot areas or beach areas. And so we went to a place that we know as uh, Makapu, uh, better known as Kaupo uh, Makapu. It's right across of Sea Life Park one of the big tourist attractions here uh, in Hawaii. And so we occupied that land uh, basically because we, we had an agreement with the state and they broke the agreement. So that meant that, well, then I tried to, to work with the government to get property. Uh, so that won't work. We'll just go get the land and get people on the land and, and just start to live, live and understand what sovereignty is. And that's what happened for 15 months. Um, 
we went in uh, around 1993, uh, early part of 1994, and we left the village uh, uh, later that June. And uh, so the, the, the essence of what we did there was basically Hawaiians reclaiming their land, restoring uh, their attachment to the land that we've always had. Indigenous, native, aboriginal peoples all over the world uh, have that right. And so we just went and <clears throat> took the apology law, which was signed in 1993, and we pushed it to the limit and, and keep pushing it and keep pushing it till we realized that we had the right to restore uh, the government we once had because of the atrocities against us, the overthrow. So that's how we came about. Uh, the Nation of Hawaii was created uh, with a leaders, uh, well-respected leaders uh, out of the community. We call kupunas, uh, the elders, and we had elders representing, you know, over 300 elders representing different islands. Um, and, and it was something, something, you know, at that time, over 20 years ago, it was something to really, really see because they knew nothing about building a constitution, let alone a new constitution. They knew nothing about, um, you know, structuring things in such a way that you would form a country. And they did, you know, they learned. They, we had an international law professor help us. Uh, he had one of his top students that graduated, uh, Professor Boyle from University of Illinois. He had a student, uh, Patrick Sickles, that came and sat in convention with us to create the Hawaii Constitution that, uh, that we have today uh, that was promulgated in 1995. So I want to I thank you, uh, uh, Fordham University, uh, for, for hosting this uh, and all, of, you know, all the sponsors. Thank you very much for making that happen. Uh, I'm, I'm very proud of the next generation uh, that is there, that is, is representing us uh, today. Uh, very proud of them. Uh, our Deputy Head of State, uh, Brandon Makaabaaba, our Senior Advisor, Senior Executive Advisor, uh, Lindsay uh, Kukona Pakele. Uh, and we have others going up there that, that represents uh, different, you know, parts of our culture and, and experts in that field. Uh, Josiah is going to be there, uh, Ryan uh, Sognini, uh, Meredith Brooks, uh, Kelly Taylor, Sam Kapoi. Um, and then we have uh, a New Yorker up there, Hawaiian uh, from Maui, Raul uh, Nohea Goodness. Good luck to all of you. Uh, give them, give them all the knowledge they need. Spread that knowledge around to, to help these people out there understand uh, what we're doing. Aloha. Thank you. Bye.